What's going on guys, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George and welcome to a five part series of a Wash Me Build campaign and in this series we are going to focus on lead generation ads for car dealerships using Facebook ads and the goal of these series, because there's going to be multiple series in different niches, uh, different types of campaigns, different types of advertisement and the goal of all of these you know, campaigns etc is to basically help you guys start your own social media marketing agency and actually get the results that the client wants. On the rest of this channel, obviously, you know, you've got loads of videos on outreach, how to, you know, start your agency, how to get in the clients, how to do the sales, how to do the outreach, how to do the reporting. But the only thing that you don't really see a lot on YouTube is obviously the results, okay? More often than not, people try and, you know, draw you into buying a course or anything like that. So I thought, why not just be transparent and show you guys from start to finish how to set up those campaigns and how to set up those ads. Okay, now with that said, in this video, I'm basically just going to go over um, the goal of the campaign. I'm going to give you a bit of an introduction. I'm going to explain a bit about the pixel, etc. And then in the next few videos, I'll be going through the campaign itself, how to set up the campaign, what type of campaign to set up, what the objective is of the campaign in like the following video. After that, I'll explain the audiences, the ad sets, the budgets, etc. And then obviously how to set up the actual advertisement. In this case, it will be a lead form ad. And then in the last video, I'll show you how to split test all of the audiences to ensure that you are actually targeting, to right, the, targeting the right audience. And without further ado, let's hop into it. What's going on guys and welcome to the first video of a five part series. And as I already explained in the introduction, uh, basically what we're going to do is set up a lead generation campaign for a car dealership. Now, quick disclaimer, this whole campaign will be for educational purposes only. However, I will treat this entire campaign as if I was setting this up for a client. Uh, coincidentally, we are actually in talks with a car dealership. Um, so, you know, obviously this is great practice for me as well. I am going to basically have this as like a live stream almost. So no editing involved. You guys will, you know, basically see me do everything from start to finish. Now, with that said, as I already mentioned, we are in talk with a car dealership and what they want to focus on mainly is buying or quoting secondhand cars. So what they do is they give people a quote on their car that they want to sell and those people are obviously in the market for another car or a new car. So what they do is they get people to sell the cars to them, to the dealership, and then they pitch them on a new car. What they then do is basically they get cars in for cheap and they can then sell those cars on secondhand to someone else. And they also have a qualified lead, someone that is in the market for a new car that they can then sell a car to. So what they want to do is they want to focus mainly on getting people in to get a free quote on their car that they have at that moment. And then from there, they can do the rest, okay? So what we're going to do today is set up a lead generation campaign, focusing mainly on getting people to get a quote on their car that they have at that moment, okay? So for that, we have a complete new fresh ad account. A um, few little limitations to a new ad account. Obviously, um, you can't go ham on the ads. You will need to basically warm up the account first. Um, I mainly warm up the account by setting up a like campaign uh, just for one pound or one euro a day. Then the second day, I up that to two then to four, then to 10, and then basically from there, it's it's okay. Um, and then obviously from there, you can't go right up to 100 a day in budget either, um, but just slowly warming up over time. And um, what you can also do is set up automated rules that the budget increases by 20%. Um, but obviously, you know, you do want to uh, set up a warm up process, but if it's your own money and it's your own ad account, then obviously, you know, um, you want to keep it nice and short because obviously, um, you will be using client ad accounts mainly, okay? So you don't use your own ad account um, for the clients. You obviously use your own ad account for your own ads and the client shares the ad account with you. Okay, so a few little introduction and necessities. Um, what every business needs is a pixel. Um, shall we actually get up a car dealership um, just so we can have like an example? Um, car dealerships... Um, let's just do UK. 
Um, we buy any car. Let's actually see. I'm not, I no idea if they actually run ads or not. Um, let's get webuyanycar.com. For those that aren't from the UK, um, we buy any car is like an advertisement that is constantly on. It's on the radio, it's on the, the television, etc. So um, that is why I giggled when I saw it. Okay, so these uh, we buy any car.com has got a page view pixel. Um, can we not surpass this page? Do we need to enter our registration? Um, I guess we do. Is there any other page that we can access? There we go. Um, maybe branch locator or sell my car that would have been perfect let's go back to that scroll down sell my car okay now we still need to enter our registration um, okay but anyway uh, what I wanted to see is if they have a pixel so what they've got is they've got the page view pixel um, if this was me I would have added a view content pixel um, and then if we enter our reg, I'm hoping that they also have a lead pixel because obviously you do want to sort of distinguish those that are just browsing the website and those that actually fill in the details. Um, to do that, you go to Events Manager, left top, you click on Pixels, and then here you will have your pixel. If you haven't got a pixel, you click on Create Pixel. So what we'll do is we'll call this, not the brand Brampaneer 6th pixel, we'll call this uh, Car Dealership Demo Pixel. Okay, we click on continue and then manually install the code and then this is your page view pixel code okay all you need to do is copy this and then paste it in either the header or the footer of your website okay as soon as you've done that you can click on continue you can obviously test it from here you can click on manually add event code and then this is basically where you can select which events you want to add to your pages. We are going to go for view content because the view content basically distinguishes people that are just browsing with people that are more interested. As you can see here, a visit to a content page that you care about, such as a product page, a landing page or article. Okay, so we have this on every other page besides the home page because a lot of people will go onto the home page and it's not until people actually start clicking on the, you know, the different pages of your website that you know it that they are basically more interested okay another one that we can add is a lead event which will not be here maybe in the automotive um, so there you go lead events this is what we will also need now for these ads that we are going to set up now we are going to be using the Facebook lead generation campaign so uh, the pixels etc won't really be used because we're not really using the website however it's always very good to have okay so you can set up a lead um, event as well all you need to do is just copy this to clipboard and then paste it in the header like you've done with the pixel as well if you want you can also add like conversion value and currency and stuff like that um, i usually leave this blank um, but for example if you've got an e-commerce store then this is almost crucial because then you can see what the return on ad spend is etc okay so we've got the lead we've got the page view and we've got the view content so for now let's just say the pixel is done um, and then from there we can start setting up our advertisement so like i already said we will be setting up a lead generation campaign and um, the goal of this campaign is to get people that want a quote on the car that they have at the moment because then the dealership can uh, give them a quote on their car which will then be their uh, second hand car and then from there uh, they can pitch them on a new car so i hope you enjoyed the first part of this series in the next video like i said we'll be setting up the campaign now if you think that you need help with all of this or you want additional coaching and personal access to me i do have a coaching program if you want to know if this is something that could work for you or if you want to see if it's a right fit or not you can schedule a free call in the description box down below and um, like i said you know a quick 15 minute call see if it's a right fit for each other and then we can possibly move forward from there for those of you that aren't subscribed to the channel yet make sure you do and leave a comment if you did like this video and that you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next part.